secret agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent B-9 for assignment. At once, K-7. Special agent B-9 reporting for assignment. Agent B-9, I have a rather difficult assignment for you. It may fall within your power to prevent the seizure of a nation. According to information, a powerful European state is about to send a secret ultimatum to one of the Balkan countries. If you can unearth the true facts and give them to the world press before the ultimatum is delivered, the diplomat who has brought us here feels sure that world pressure will force the aggressor to withdraw its demand. Our information is that the ultimatum is now being framed in a Central European legation. There is one man in that legation who is an old patriot. Go to him. Act with the utmost caution. Keep me informed. night, Agent B-9 and his assistant Rita Drake left Paris by plane. The next evening, B-9 sat in the home of an old patriot who dared to speak his thoughts, even though such action constituted treason to the state. You've seen my credentials. I've come to plead with you on behalf of K-7. You are with the legation. Will you give me the information I need to act? You ask a great deal? Perhaps. But I ask it in the name of world peace. If the state that has seized your country succeeds again, the war makers will control the greatest oil fields in the Balkans. It will mean war. Yes. Yes, you're right. I don't know where K-7 got his information, but he's right. A secret ultimatum is being framed here. Within 72 hours, it will be delivered. If it is delivered at this time, there is no doubt of the outcome. But if the world knew of this secret ultimatum... The democracies would pledge their aid. Your leader wouldn't dare move. I suppose I must agree that again you're right. Our leader has won all of his games through surprise moves. He has struck ruthlessly, suddenly, before a startled world realized what was happening. Help me to prevent him from succeeding that way again. You must see that if he gains control of the great oil fields, he will have what he needs to start a world war. Think of the men who would be killed in such a war. Think of the women and children who would die and cities were bombed far behind the lines. I suppose I shouldn't balance their lives against my own, should I? The thought is unpleasant. Unpleasant? But it must be faced. If I give you the secret ultimatum, they will be published in every newspaper in the world. As you say, the democracies will come to the aid of the country involved with pledges. Our leader will lose the great prize he counts as already won. He'll lose his chance to conquer Europe. You think I will go free? You think he won't find out who betrayed him? Perhaps I could take you out of the country with me. 
I'm willing to attempt it. No. No. I'll stay. I'll give you the information you want. I'm an old man. If necessary, I'll sacrifice my life for those who would be forced to go to the trenches to die if war came. Come. We go to the legation office. An hour later, B-9 and the old Patriot entered the legation offices. B-9's assistant, Rita Drake, remained outside to give the alarm if anyone approached. The offices were deserted. The time was after midnight. Here is the office. I have a copy of the document in my desk. Wait, I'll use my flashlight. You can't see to unlock the door. No, I can see. We must take no chances. The light would show our faces. Come inside. We will close the door. It's pretty dark in here. I know my way. <laughs> I've been with the legation for many years. I served under the Emperor before these present madmen were ever heard of. Uh, here is my desk. It will take only one minute to unlock it. Uh, here, my friend. Here is a copy of the ultimatum. I made it only today. No one knows I possess it. Thank you. Don't thank me. Just remember that you have less than 72 hours to act if you would save the peace of Europe. Uh, you've made preparations to leave the country? Both Miss Drake and I are traveling on diplomatic passports. K-7 arranged them. We also have a fast plane waiting for us at the airport. Within 10 minutes after I leave these offices, we will be on our way. Good. Tell K-7 I acted in the interest of humanity. Tell him to have the ultimatum printed in every newspaper in the world. Come, we will leave. You will both stand where you are. Who? Who spoke? You are both outlined against the light from the window. If either of you move, I will shoot. I'm going to put on the light. Rene Storak. Who is this woman? I will answer you. I am head of one department of intelligence. It was reported to me this afternoon that Kostha so fit to make a copy of our leader's ultimatum. I expected something like this to happen tonight. It is useless to resist. You are quite right, Sir Kassar. You are both under arrest. Now, now give me the papers that have just passed between you. And if I resist? And if you resist, I will be forced to shoot you here. Drop your gun on the floor. Ah. I have oh. a gun in your back, and unless you do as I tell you, I'll pull the trigger. Very well. Good work, Rita. I saw her follow you into the building. I followed her. Did you take her gun? Yes. Wait until I examine it. It's fully loaded. Did you think I was pretending? Now that you have me, what do you propose doing? I'll answer that, Renaud Zorak. Give me her gun, B-9. Why do you want it? Give it to me. Thank you. Now leave. You told me that you could be on your way within ten minutes. Miss Zorak and I will remain here for one half hour. By then it will be too late for her to act. Take the ultimatum and leave. Within a quarter of an hour, Agent B-9 and Rita Drake were in the air. They carried a document that blasted the hopes of a man who sought only power. Behind them, in the offices of the legation, a strange scene was taking place. Ah, the 30 minutes are up. I've had my moment of glory. In just a minute, I'm going to give you back your gun. But before I do, I have something to say to you. Herr Kalta, you have betrayed the state. The penalty is death. Nothing you can say will help you. Perhaps not. The document is gone. Our leader's secret ultimatum will be known around the world before this time tomorrow. I have prevented the state from seizing another country. I did it to prevent war. You are a woman. You must have some of a woman's instincts left, even after the years you have served as a spy. I ask only one I favor. don't intend to free you. No. No, I would not ask it. 
Here. Take your gun. But he can't Take it. I... Now, you are armed and I am at your mercy. Oh. I ask only you remove all but one bullet and return the gun to me. I admire your courage. I have acted in the name of humanity. Such an act requires little bravery. You will grant me my wish, your gun, and one bullet? I grant your request, Herr Carter. Five bullets I remove. One bullet I leave you. I will wait outside. Thank you. We must all live our lives as our conscience dictates. Goodbye, Herr Carter. Within 24 hours, newsboys cried out important headlines in every world capital. It was the same in London, New York, Paris. The secret ultimatum had become public property. Special Agent B-9 reporting, K-7. Your orders were followed. Through the patriotism and devotion to peace of one man, the secret ultimatum was exposed. I gave its contents to the newspapers of the world. As you know, the great democracies pledged support as a result, the secret ultimatum was withdrawn before it was sent. War has been averted for the time. Thus did one man rise suddenly to become a great defender of Europe against barbarism. He gave his life for peace. For obvious reasons, I haven't used his real name in this story. For the time being, he must remain one of the world's great unknown heroes. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking.